Welcome back to another video. Today we are in the Great League Remix. Uh, let's see what we team, what team we are running today. Switching it up a little bit, we're using the Magnazone here paired with the Polyrath and the Manting here. So we're going to get switched out into the Wish Cash. Shadow Wish Cash here, very popular right now. We're going to switch into the Polyrath. We know that we can get to this Skull here to apply some pressure, either to do some big damage or get a shield possibly. We do get the big damage and the debuff right here. This debuff here will allow us to um, survive this mud bomb and we're going to be able to farm down. Now we're going to be coming back and we are met with the as well as her. We are able to get to this icy wind here, which is huge because it only not only debuffs them, but it gets them low enough. Here they're going to be switching out into this shadow swamper in the back. So they had double mud boys in the back here. This man team is going to be able, be able to um, get through any of these moves. Sludge Wave comes through, so Sludge Wave is going to be a more neutral move here, but it takes them a while to get to it. And because we know they have Sludge Wave, we are going to allow them to throw a move. We're going to shield and potentially farm down at this point. So we do go for the farm down. We have a ton of energy. This as well as here is so low enough that we don't even have to go for these Ice Beams anymore. This is going to be uh, Aero Ace, and then we're going to have another Aero Ace here. Let's see if they're going to... Yep, they decided to double shield. And then we're just going to try to get to another aerial ace. And we do get to a third aerial ace to take out as well as... And if we didn't, we still have that um, mag zone in the front to deal with it. So GG's to our putter right there. Able to win this game. Um, next, let's see what we find. Um, if you didn't realize it already, we do kind of have a more um, ABB team. So like a, a steel double water if you want to look at it. But um let's see okay there's a fire okay this is exactly where the abb comes in we're going to switch out into the man team here and team here is going to be able to uh, throw arrow aces at this deciduite this deciduite here we know that it can have frenzy plan bright bird uh a variety of moves but we already know that we can win this match up here if we just want shields so that's exactly what we do we're going to be uh met with this uh, skeleton dirge here even though we don't have a water move on this man team we are going to be able to uh get to these arrow aces pretty quickly and basically we're forcing them to use some energy at this point they go for the shadow ball and that allows us to think about actually going with the magnesium but let's see what we end up doing so we do go into our polyrath here to soak up some energy ends up being the crunch so we are resisting the crunch right there and they actually switch out into their shadow shift tree right here taking a lot of damage from our polyrath we're going to switch out and catch a leaf blade here and at this point all we have to do is just use our full switches and we are going to be able to win so gg's to our opponent right there able to win that game with our opponent having two shields so kind of a strong my team was very strong against theirs all right next let's see we have the Magnezone versus the Excadrill Drill here. This is a terrible matchup, so we're going to immediately switch out, try to get some free counters in. And of course, we get met with a Psychic user. So these confusions from this hip Hypno here are doing a tremendous amount of damage. We are only able to do some neutral Scald here. Uh, we, we didn't even get the debuff, so this Polyrath um, is going to have to go down. Unfortunately, no debuff, and it is still out of range of a farm down because... Uh, I think it was still like in the red, maybe a little bit in the yellow. So we have to tank a move and then we can uh, farm down. So uh, still not a great situation because all of this energy from this magazine is going to get soaked up by this extra, extra drill for um, basically for free. They're going to be able to throw this rock slide back at our main team here. And looks like they do have the Skarmory in the back here. So they actually were ABA uh, steel and um, we just had our magazine lined up in the wrong spot. So... This is going to be GG's here. Let's see how much this ice beam is going to do. Okay, it does roughly 30 to 40%, 30 to 35%. So keep that in mind for the future. But this is all about over. Let's see. Are we going to be able to farm down? Not even able to farm down this Skarmory here. Um, we're going to shield here. And we're going to see how much damage this um, mirror shot actually does towards this extra drill. Okay, they're not even going to allow us to find out. But that's okay. GG's to our point right there. A little bit unfortunate. We... We, we got a hard counter on the last game previously, but then we kind of got um, hard counter that last game too. So, uh, okay, Chestnut here, we're going to have to switch out. Okay, so they get our they get the uh, Shadow Dragon here to, to um, switch out. We do get a shield here because we potentially could have thrown an Ice Beam right there. Here, we're going to have to shield here. We think they're going to double shield. Okay, because Shadow Dragonair is not necessarily a Mantine counter, so 
Um, okay, unfortunately, that was not right. But we are going to be able to double shield and farm down, I believe. So we're going to at least have a bunch of energy headed into the whatever they bring back. Probably not the chestnut, right? Let's find out. Okay, no chestnut, but it ends up being the Skarmory. We switch out to try to sneak in some extra vol switches, but that does not happen. We go for the uh, mirror shot right here. They do end up shielding. Um, pretty positive this is going to be a superpower here. No reason why it couldn't. So superpower goes through right there. Who wins CMP versus the main team versus chestnut? Let's find out. We try to go for the CMP, CAP, and it looks like the chestnut does win that. So we lost all that energy from that uh, man team right there. So this is all about over. Um, it was it was gonna look it was gonna be a tough tough game to um, win anyways, but um, I think that was our best course of action, I believe. Especially since this uh, Skarmory does not get KO'd from one Scald or or the Ice Beam, so not not the ideal situation. All right, next game. Let's see what we find here. We're going to be met with Mandibuzz versus the Charger Bug. Okay, so definitely don't want to see the Charger Bug in the back here. We're going to have to stay in. Um, we're going to throw this uh, mirror, mirror shot right here just to try to get a debuff or try to get a shield. No reason uh, to shield their situation yet because we don't know if they're running, you know, Discharge, x Scissor, or Crunch. So they revealed that they threw a Discharge, which... Gives us indication probably that they are running Discharge X Scissor. Pretty common move set. We do get the debuff right there, so this Discharge here does a little bit less. And because of that, we're gonna be able to get to two mirror shots, I believe. Let's see. One mirror shot goes through. We're gonna throw another one here on uh, CAP tie. This mirror shot here does take out the charge bug, so that's great. We switch out into the main team when they have the Vigoros come back in here. Um, we do have a slightly favorable matchup here because we are resisting the counters and our opponent here actually switches out into the process here should have thrown the um arrow ace here but they kind of surprised me um wasn't expecting a switch out right there so we're gonna have to tank this move here that ends up being the avalanche the avalanche is gonna be able to take us out there um and then we're gonna have this uh magnus zone here to throw mirror shots we do get a shield from our opponent right there so that's huge and now it, it comes down to a little bit of baiting situation we have two shields here they have a ton of energy. Do we call the bait? We do call the bait. Ends up um, being correct. We do sur survive that avalanche because it's resisted. Here we're going to be able to throw Icy Wind back at this um, Vigoroth here. The idea now is to get a bunch of energy from this Polyrath. And one shield and potentially farm down. Huge farm down right there. We have a ton of energy. And it looks like our opponent here already had a move. So they go for the avalanche again. No point in not shielding in that situation we go for the icy win here we do get the shield because they're so low we're going to be able to get to another icy win here and this is going to be a ko so we had to call everything and it ended up being perfect ggs to our opponent right there so check out this team if you haven't already and let us know if you enjoyed the video